Welcome to the news at 8 on Remo TV. I am Oyeri De Damdola. First, the headline. Oshimba devalues leather industry at $5 billion. Abia Judicial Panel recommends 5 billion Naira compensation to victims of Ensa's saga. Acts of lawlessness would not be condoled in Ogun, Governor Abiodun. 19 bodies found after plane crash in remote Kamchatka area of Russia. Tokyo records highest number of coronavirus infections in two months. Kidi gushes about the impact of Bonner Boy's Grammy win on the African artists, says he broke down doors. My family looks forward every day to a wonderful breakfast with a large bread. They enjoy every bit of it. My customers, they enjoy my food more and more since the day where I began to sell a large bread. In fact, myself they happy. All I just to bread is sweet well well. Get a nutritious feeling with Ola Jesu Bread. Available in famous Better Bread, Whole Wheat, Fresh Slice, Ola Jesu Bread. Very nutritious. On our top stories, Oshimbajo values Nigeria's leather industry at $1 billion. The vice president, who described the implementation of the leather products policy as holistic, added that it would also provide a more sustainable infrastructure development plan and guaranteed access to credit facilities for business people. He said Nigeria's emergence as a regional leader in leather products is now. He further said that countries like Spain, Italy, and West African subregions are prime destinations for Nigeria's leather products. Oshimba Jo, in his keynote address by Dr. Obonaya Ono, the Minister of Science and Technology, held the leather products policy as the first strategic implementation plan for the leather and leather products policy in Nigeria. The Federal Ministry of Science and Technology in supporting this important initiative through offering leadership and in transformation of our economy from a resource base to a knowledge and innovation driven one, he said. Abia Judicial Panel recommends 522 million naira to victims of Ensa's saga. Abia said Judicial Panel of Inquiry on Police Brutality, Extrajudicial Killings, and Other Related Matters has recommended the payment of 522 million naira as compensation to victims of police brutality and other related human abuses in the state. The panel's chairman and a former chief judge of the state, Justice Sunday Imo, said this while handing over the report of the panel to Governor Okeze Pazo at Government House, Umaya. He said the panel, which was set up by Ipazo in October 2020 on the heels of the protest, received 86 cases and petitions, adding that 46 went through full hearing, while the remaining were either dismissed or struck out. The retired jurist, who also said that the governor had charged the panel to handle complaints against the police from 2015 through the NSAS protest, added that the report was contained in five different volumes. According to him, volume one contains the main report, two, the petitions, three, the records and proceedings, four, the findings and recommendations, and five, the last. On state's news, acts of lawlessness will not be condoled in Ogun, Governor Abiodun. Ogun State Governor Prince Dakwa Abiodun has warned that his administration would not condole any act of lawlessness by individuals or group of persons that may lead to disunity in the state. He equally sued for peace over clashes that occurred at the weekend in Olo Kemeji village in the Odeda local government area of the state. Abiodun condoled with the victims of Olo Kemeji who lost their lives and properties. The governor in a statement by the chief press secretary, Kunle Shomori, described the incident as an unfortunate and promised that investigation will be carried out to determine the cause of the clash. 
Prince Abiodo urged the people of this area to shun violence and report every incident to the appropriate authority, noting that Ogun State has always been home to people from diverse backgrounds. Every child deserves quality education. Every child deserves a school that promotes academic excellence through rigorous standard. Transatlantic International College, Shagamu, a school with a blend of Nigerian and British curriculum. At Transatlantic International College, we're committed to excellence in academic pursuits and leadership skills development in our students. Our teachers are well trained to meet the challenges of different learners in an environment that is conducive for learning. We have excellent boarding facilities, recreational facilities including swimming, taekwondo, football, and table tennis. Transatlantic International College, Shagamu, admission 2021 process starts with a common entrance examination from 6th of March 2021 till July 24, 2021. Transatlantic International College, Shagam 113 Hospital Road, Ayegbami, Shagamu, Ogun State. Call for more information 008 313 4497. Transatlantic International College, developing and nurturing future leaders through academic excellence and sound moral teachings. An international scene 19 bodies found after plane crash in remote area of Russia. The AN-26 plane with 22 passengers, 6 crew members, went missing on Tuesday and its wreckage was later found on the coastal cliffside in the sea. The aircraft carrying 28 people crashed on Tuesday near its destination town of Palana in the region of Kamchatka. The plane went missing during its flight and its wreckage was later found on the coastal cliffside and in the sea. A search and rescue operation began on Tuesday but was suspended till Wednesday morning as the crash site became too difficult to see in the dark. The emergency ministry said the remains of 19 victims have been found so far and one of them had been identified. Russian media reported on Tuesday that none of the crew members or 22 passengers on board had survived. On sports, Tokyo records the highest number of coronavirus infections in two months. With less than three weeks to the commencement of the Olympic Games, Tokyo has recorded the highest number of new coronavirus infections in almost two months. The city government reported 920 new cases within 24 hours on Wednesday, the most in a day since May 13th, when the Olympic Post City recorded 1,010 new infections. The rising infection rates are creating concerns among people who feared the games could become a super spreader event. Organizers, however, are sure that everything will be safe. Tokyo is currently under a semi state of emergency in place until Sunday after stricter rules were lifted on June 20th, after about two months. The government is reportedly considering extending the semi state of emergency by a month which would mean that it would be enforced during the Games. The Games are set to start on July 23rd. On entertainment, Kidi gushes about the impact of Warner Boy's Grammy win on African artists. He broke down doors, he said. It can be recalled that on March 14, 2021, Nigerian superstar Bonner Boy won a Grammy Award for Best Global Music Album. On July 6, 2021, Ghanaian singer Kidi had a conversation with veteran OAP Shobzi Du, where he discussed the impact of Bonner Boy's Grammy win, among other things. He said, Before Bonner Boy's Award, shout out to Bonner on a huge, huge success. Before that, before that, whenever Grammys are mentioned to African artists, we had the thing of, we'll get there one day. We don't know, but we'll get there. It was that feeling, right? But after Bonaboy did it, like he said, he broke down doors. Every African artist coming up, myself looking on that day, watching on TV, all I could have on my mind was, it is possible, it can be done. Now I go to sleep with a fresh mindset and different outlook in life. With hard work, with dedication, with the right mind, pushing, breaking boundaries, I can do it. 
that's it on the news at eight from Remo TV. For more news updates, you can follow all our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube at Official Remo TV. You can also check our website on www.remotv.com.ng. I am Oyerinde Damlola. Good night. <laughs>